long press to lock. Yay, we did it. It is officially set up. So today we're back with another smart tech video. This one is one that I don't have as much experience with, but I love getting to learn these and set them up. Special thanks to this company for sending us this smart deadbolt. So this is a lock for your door or a deadbolt that uh, works off of Wi-Fi or that you can control it through an app. So with the Wi-Fi, you're able to connect from anywhere to unlock your door, to add passcodes, etc. So we're of course gonna get on the overhead rig. We're gonna go through the unboxing of this and then we will set it up on our door and show you exactly how it works. It of course has touchpad and a regular key. And then the best part about this one is I not only have this one here, but uh, I have one more here. See, the company was nice enough to send me two of these. So I wanted to give one away to my American subscribers. So if you are subscribed to the channel, you must be subscribed. Comment down below, Big C, M22. Reason is, this is the model M22. So if you comment Big C M22, leave a Twitter or Instagram where I can reach out to you, and I'm going to randomly select somebody on March 1st of 2023 to win this smart lock. I'll send it to you for free. It won't cost you a penny. You'll just send me your info, and I'll drop it in the mail. So click like, click subscribe, and now let's get on this overhead rig, unbox this lock, and see how it works. All right, and so again, thanks to this company for sending this to me. So this is the front of the box, your most trustworthy guard. It's made of zinc alloy, has mechanical keys, and password. Just the top has intelligent door lock, the model M22, and whether it's Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, this is the Wi-Fi version. Back has the same picture as the front. This side just has manufacturing information. And this side just shows it being used as a deadbolt. Looks really nice there. And nothing on the bottom, of course. So let's open this on up. This is exactly how it comes. So very, very nice. Look at that guide. It has pictures. I love that. So I think every guide should have photos like this. It looks like they did a great job with the instruction manual. So if my video is not able to help you out, the instruction guide should be able to show you how to do everything. There's of course your template to drill your holes. Considering I'm replacing a deadbolt, I, uh, I won't need this. And then all of the fun stuff. So what's what? There's one box of something and... Oh, this is clearly, yeah, that's everything else. All right, that's all cardboard. That's it for the box. And so here's our locks. There's the inside. That's what you would see to, of course, manually turn your lock. And looks like your batteries go right there. That looks nice and easy. Okay, this side against door. All right, then over here. So this has the other half and this little cable has to be plugged in over here to get its battery. Plugs in down bottom here and this will just fit nicely on your door. Now there is this pill before use. So that's for the touch panel. We'll get to that when we need it. And there's your regular lock. Now I do see a USB-C port here. That's most likely to boost this. So in case of the event of the batteries being dead and you didn't change them in time, uh, you'd still be able to get in your house. So inside of this box must be all of our other materials. Yep, that's it for that. So, wow, backup screws and then all the other screws you should need. Bada bing, all right. Wall plate matches, nice. And of course, your two keys to uh, manually lock and unlock the door. The first thing we have to do, of course, is get our old lock off. So we'll get our old lock off and then we'll show you the process of putting this lock on the door. And then of course, once I have the lock on the door, I will show you the setup process with the app. Let's go. All right, so step number one, remove our old deadbolt. <laughs> Luckily, it was able to be turned. All right. Take that out, and then just two more to go. All right, so now our old deadbolt is removed, so we're ready to put our new smart deadbolt on. First things first, we need this and these screws here. All right, so we'll slide this in, and then a screw up top and a screw down bottom. Bingo, it's in there. All right, now, all right, so we take our little cable, we run it underneath, 
and then just try to line up these three and slide them straight through and something like that there we go now that is in take out this screw up top by the set button and this screw to reveal your mounting plate and this is what all makes everything connect in so now It has it all labeled where the cable hole is. And so we just slide our cable through, line this up. So then you take the two long screws and hold the uh, back on, of course, and run those two screws through here and here to make it all one piece like this. And so with a little finagling, you get those two through and then tighten these two screws. There we go. Now our plate is on. So the last step is you take this. That's the two screws that came out of this and we'll plug our cable in right here and then use those two screws to mount this plate on the back of the door and this will just it'll literally just slide right in it only goes one direction right into this connector all right so our cable's attached and we'll just center our lock and line it up with that and then push it all into place to line up the two holes Screw number one there we go. Before I waste time with batteries, let's see. Look at that. It works. Yay. Now we just got to throw some batteries in here. All right, battery number one. These are random batteries that I found around the house since this does not come with any, so you will need to find your own batteries. Two, three, battery, four. There we go. Look at that, we have power. Let me throw this off now. Now we'll have to get our app out and installed and go through the pairing process and put our cover back over the batteries. Much better. Nice. All right, let's get the app and set this thing up. All right, so let's light up our screen here. We'll click our, click our lock button. So that worked. And then we'll click unlock. And then we'll put in the default, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, unlock. And that works. So good. We're definitely ready to set it up in the app. So we'll find the Smart Life app. All right. So that's the app because that's the icon. So we're going to install this app, make us an account, and then we'll show you how to connect the app to your Wi-Fi Smart Lock. All right. So now I have our app. We'll click Add Device. Once my location, that's fine for now. Continue while using and turn on Bluetooth. My Bluetooth should already be on. It is on. It's connected to my Pixel Watch. So it's searching for nearby devices. Is there a way to... Well, does that help at all? Well, the app thinks that my Bluetooth is off. And my Bluetooth is not off. So that's definitely a problem in itself. Yeah, it's telling me where to go and turn on my Bluetooth. It's already on. So my Bluetooth is on. It's connected to my watch. So... So on Android, at least, if I come into these settings and allow... Nearby devices. Oh, yeah. Nearby devices. Allow... And that should hopefully solve our error. There we go. So now let's see if it makes your device has entered pairing mode. Well, we weren't told how to do that. How do I use the auto scan? So let's reset uh, this lock. There's a reset button. We're going to hold that for a few seconds. All right. So hopefully that put it in like pairing mode of some sort. Hey, that did it. Add. Yay, it worked. All right, so pressing that button that I happened to see, not that the manual told me to do that or anything, but pressing that button seemed to put it into pairing mode, and now it is going through the process to actually add this, this smart Wi-Fi lock. We'll come back in a moment. All right, that's been added, and there we go. So long press to unlock, and long press to lock. Yay, we did it. It is officially set up nice and easy now it looks like this app shows some records so it'll show you who unlocked the door especially if you set up different household members and stuff unlock keys or user accounts scene what is scene oh unlock on arrival family go home so to use your phone's uh, location to do all this and then settings voice code auto locking volume and low power threshold and that's what it kind of looks like from the main screen so there we go. It is uh, officially set up and working. And if you come into unlock keys, this is where you can add a user or temporary key card for a fingerprint or code, etc. That's how you would set up the codes 
on this. I'm going to go get rid of the default one now, but that's how you do it. So that should do it for this smart lock. All right. And so that should do it for this M22 smart Wi-Fi lock. Now I must say I'm a little surprised at the setup. It went a little smoother than a lot of the other smart lock products have went. I've had some products that were a nightmare to set up. I do wish the instructions mentioned for you to press that reset button, but uh, I learned that and it instantly set up after that. So just press your reset button, make sure your Bluetooth settings are right, and this thing will connect. All around an easy installation process, very easy app setup. Also very easy to add the users so that they can type in pin codes and stuff like that. No real complaints from this smart lock. Now again, thanks to this company for sending this to me. Don't forget, put in the comments Big C M22 because it's the M22 model. And be subscribed to my channel. And on March 1st of 2023, I will pick a random subscriber who commented Big C M22 to send them this extra Wi-Fi smart lock. You must be in America to win this uh, just because shipping in the United States is much easier than trying to ship overseas. So if you're in the US, subscribe to my channel, comment Big C M22, and you could win a smart lock that's valued at about, I think, 120, 130 bucks. So I'll, of course, have one of these linked down below in my description if you'd like one of these smart Wi-Fi locks for your house. And that'll do it for this one. Click like, click subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.